Hi, my name is Faber. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. I invite you to subscribe. It is free. We are a travel and home vlog channel. So we vlog our travels. We vlog here at home and we just vlog everyday life. Today, we are here to talk about the Sun Princess. Listen, we are not a drama channel. We do not post drama. We don't post clickbait. We don't post things to get you to click. So drama just for the sake of a click. We usually are very positive people. We believe that in all situations there is positive aspects and things that you can still enjoy even if things go wrong. That said, we have chosen to accept Princess's offer to move over our sailing. And here's why. So I'm gonna start you at the very beginning. Last year when we booked this cruise, we had a casino offer from Princess from a previous sailing. We did book two cruises with that offer. One was Regal Princess, those vlogs are up on the channel and we had a fabulous time and loved every minute on that ship. Then we also booked the Sun Princess. When we booked, we did not think about the fact that that was going to be an inaugural season for the ship. In fact, we didn't even think about that at all. It wasn't, it was just the fact that it was a new ship. We were excited to sail a new ship, but the most important aspect of it was it had an itinerary from Europe that, that in the Mediterranean that we were ecstatic about. It had ports we were really looking forward to going to. So that is the initial reason why we booked this cruise. We had been planning to go to Europe for some time. If you watch us at all, you know this has been a dream of ours. We had to save a long time to afford this, which brings me to my next point. We are not sponsored in any way at all by any cruise line, any travel company. We are not reimbursed in any way, shape or form. We pay for our travel 100%. Yes, as there was a comment or a post on Cruise Critic. Yes, we are monetized on YouTube. I have a very small channel. I do not have the maximum monetization set on my channel. Uh, I just accept the standard monetization from YouTube. And since we are not sponsored, I do not receive funding from any sponsorships or anything like that. Yes, my funding that I do receive, my paycheck on YouTube does contribute to my travel, to our travel, but it does not pay for it, nor does it cover it. It's this much compared to this much on a budget. Just, just, just to be clear, just so you know. So I just wanted to get all of that out of the way. Everything that we had planned, planned to pay for Europe is listed down in the description box for you. From our flights to our hotels to everything is listed down in the description box. We are always very transparent about that because I know that's something we look for is how much things are going to cost when we're traveling and that's something we don't find very frequently. So I've listed that down there for you just so you can know what to expect or maybe you're just curious. We booked this cruise with a casino offer. We were very excited. We began, we began planning this cruise. Listen, there are a lot of things to plan going to Europe. There are hotels post and pre and post cruise. There are taxis, there are flights, there are transfers. There's just so much that goes into planning a European vacation and all of it is very expensive. Off season, peak season is even more. We were going, what is it? Shoulder season, season or peak or off season. So yes, it was still very expensive. And again, that's listed for you. Princess was very secretive about the state of the ship. The first cruise was canceled. Okay, fine. The second sailing with four days notice, that second sailing was canceled. Many people lost a significant amount of money from that because maybe you're not aware, even with travel insurance, some things are not covered. Even no matter what kind of travel insurance you have, those travel insurance companies state that that would be the ship's response, the cruise line's responsibility to reimburse you for those things. Some people were out thousands of dollars not to mention the fact that some people, this was their one chance to get this vacation. They don't get another vacation. It was too late to go back to work and not take their vacation. You know, there's lots of plans in place that last minute cancellations really affect maybe boarding your dog or, you know, care for your children, you know, daycare, childcare, different things. There's just a whole encompassing <laughs> situation surrounding last minute travel cancellations. So 
I was really upsetting. So the third cruise then set sail with no indication from Princess that the ship was not fully functioning. Perhaps entertainment is not that big of a deal for you. But for many people, that is a big part of their cruise, especially venues on a brand new concept ship that Princess had been advertising and talking about for months in advance that people were really looking forward to. So when they boarded this ship, what they were boarding was just your standard Princess cruise ship without any entertainment at all. So the key venues that were not up and running were the Dome, the Arena, and Park 19. All brand new arenas on the ship. <laughs> so zero entertainment. Spellbound was a show that was also offered by Princess on, should be offered by Princess on this cruise at $149 per person. Special entertainment, special dining. I realized it was a three course meal, very nice, elegant setting for you to see this show. Nope, that's not up and running. Well, that show was $149 per person just for one show and one meal. So Princess offered, because there was no entertainment, roughly $60 per person, I think it was, or $120 per cabin, <laughs> as an offer of compensation for the lack of entertainment on the ship. It's just one of those things that people were paying full price for a ship that wasn't fully functioning. And I understand that things can go wrong. Maybe you board a ship one day and one of the shows is not up and running. Fine, I get that, that can happen. But this was all of the entertainment on a brand new ship that had been advertised for months with no indication from the cruise line that the entertainment was not going to be up and running. This was not an extenuating circumstance of bad weather or an injured performer or, you know, something went wrong with the, with the stage in this one particular show for this one particular sailing. There was a spiraling effect that took place for us personally that caused us personally to ultimately decide to take Princess's move over offer. Now, I'm gonna tell you, this move over offer is generous. I found this offer to be incredibly generous. So to me, that says, Princess was listening. They realized the first, second, and third sailing, the first two that were canceled, the second, excuse me, the third one that did go. There were some very unhappy people. If you follow social media, there were people on there that spent a handsome sum of, sum of money and did not feel like they got the value for their money. And I can completely understand that. So <laughs> it didn't help that our flight was canceled. So a couple of days before our cruise, we received a text message from Lufthansa stating there was going to be a strike uh, the day of our flights and that there could possibly be some interruption of flight services. Okay, thank you for the notice. We were out running errands, preparing to go, and then we came home. By the time we got home from, Robert was at work, I was running errands. By the time we got home, we received a notice, a text message from Lufthansa that our flights had indeed been canceled. So Robert went on, we were looking for replacement flights, nothing aligned because our first flight from the US to Munich, that flight was going to Munich and really nothing was coming out of Munich to get us to Barcelona. We were having a very hard time finding anything. So our complete itinerary of flights to Barcelona were going to have to be changed. And that was very stressful and expensive. Lufthansa was not, the first flight wasn't affected. So we were gonna have to literally out of pocket pay for the uh, new flight. I think our flight insurance, our travel insurance would have covered this in some way, shape or form, but we weren't 100% sure yet and had not gotten that far in our process. Robert was looking on Facebook, other people were starting to post about this and other people were also starting to post about the fact that Princess had been sending out these move over offers. This was Monday. We were due to fly on Wednesday. We had not received a move over offer. So we were like, okay, that doesn't apply to us. It's okay, you know. We didn't even really look at what the move over offer was. 
we were pretty upset about the fact that we were hearing there was no entertainment on the ship. We were really upset about that. And we're also looking into our, our travel insurance about moving the cruise, what we would lose, how much money we would lose for moving the cruise. The flights had already been canceled. Things were spiraling and we were starting to become extremely worried. <laughs> so, um, Robert was making phone calls. We were trying to find new flight information. And so basically at the end of the day on Monday, we were just waiting for Lufthansa to rebook us on something else because we were at our wits end on what to do. Tuesday rolled around. We're still scrambling on the flight, still trying to figure out what to do. 1215 on Tuesday, I'm checking my email and in comes an offer from princess to move our sailing. This is the offer. This is the offer we received from Princess. I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you. Sun Princess free cruise offer act fast. Princess is extending a special free cruise offer to those booked on the March 9th Sun Princess voyage. Sail on an alternative Mediterranean voyage up to 14 days and receive 100% of your cruise fare back as refundable onboard credit and a stateroom upgrade based on availability. Onboard credit is refundable. Unspent amounts will be sent home post cruise Two, Easy Air is fully protected. You will be reimbursed up to $500 per person for private travel expenses. Guests keep all current prices and, amen and amenities, etc., etc. That is on the screen for you to read. I don't know about you, but I felt like that was an incredibly generous offer. Basically what it meant was I could move my sailing to any Mediterranean cruise. I think there was a two year limit up to 14 days and it would be free. It, I would not have to pay the additional amounts, none of that. And the cruise fare that I had spent on my current Sun, Prince sail, Sun Princess sailing would then be onboard credit. I would also receive a stateroom upgrade and my current packages, OBC, all of that was still going to be in effect. To me, this is an extremely generous offer. Once we received that offer, after the flights being canceled, all of that going, just everything just seemed to be spiraling. The ship wasn't going to be ready and we were extremely upset about that. I didn't really want to board a ship that wasn't complete. I was looking forward to, we were both looking forward to the entertainment. We really enjoy the entertainment on board Princess Cruises. That is a big factor in our cruising. Maybe it isn't to you, but it is to us. And it, we had spent a, lot of money. Maybe it's not a lot of money to you, but to us, it was a significant amount of money, not just for this cruise, but for the entire trip. And for the cruise ship not to be complete, I didn't feel it was fair to pay full price for a ship that was only 50% up and running. So I just didn't feel like that was fair. So we accepted the offer. And boy, what a generous offer it is. We have now rebooked. Um, so what happened was we didn't know what cruise we wanted to be on. It did say that it was a limited time offer and we wanted to get it accepted quickly because it wasn't a guarantee that they were going to accept you accepting the offer. So um, immediately I replied to the email saying, yes, we wanted to accept the offer, but I did have some questions. That question was, you know, we didn't know what booking, what cruise we wanted to go on. Um, I needed to know, it said allow 48 hours for them to get back to you. I didn't have 48 hours because my flight was literally in 36 hours. I needed somebody to really get back to me as soon as possible. And they did. Within 15 minutes, I had a reply back from the email with the person saying, yes, this offer is still available to you. You can accept this offer, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. And so we accepted the offer because we did not have a booking in mind at that time. They put, she sent the email back to me that said she had put our booking funds. So the funds for our Sun Princess cruise in a holding account so that when we were ready to book, that those funds would be there and everything would still be, the, the whole offer would still apply to us. So we accepted the offer and immediately began scrambling to cancel all of our reservations. We were very lucky in the fact that the cancellation did come three days. So we canceled on the fourth, 
No, we canceled on the 5th. Our flights were on the 6th. Our arrival to Barcelona would have been in the afternoon of the 7th. But um, because of the time change and everything, they were ahead of us. Barcelona, everyone's ahead of us. So we had to act quickly. We were actually able to cancel everything without penalty. So there were two factors at play here, the flights and the cruise ship not being ready. So we just kind of felt like, okay, that's it. There, there are too many signs that we just need to cancel this. I didn't want to get stuck in Munich. I didn't, I, we didn't want to miss the sailing because of the flights, even though yes, then that would have been covered by our travel insurance, but I just didn't want to deal with all of that. And I didn't want to sail on a ship that wasn't completely functioning. These bookings should have been canceled far in advance. And when the venues, even if the sailings had gone, passengers should have been given the option far in advance knowing, hey, this isn't going to be functioning. This isn't going to be functioning. Would you like to move your cruise? This is what we're offering. I don't think they would have had to have offered the very generous move over offer had they done this far in advance. A lot of people are out a significant amount of money and I feel really bad for those people. Not just the people cruising, but the VRBOs, the taxi companies, the tour companies, all of these people in the travel industry who are affected by the massive cancellations of this sailing. Next week, March 9th, the March 9th sailing, there is due, the ship is scheduled to have media on board. A lot of travel influencers will be on board. I will be very curious to see their opinions about the ship. Um, you know, I'm not sure how that works with Princess. As I said, I'm not sponsored. So I don't know, are they sailing for free? Did they have to pay for their bookings? I really have no idea. I know most of the media from Europe and the US are on the first half of the cruise and then they disembark and then the second half of the cruise, more media, influencers, whatever from um, the US and Europe get on the ship. So we'll have to see what they say. Maybe the shows are up and running on this sailing. I don't know, I wasn't willing to risk it. And there was no word from Princess as to whether they were going to be up and running and as to whether or when they would be up and running. And personally, I just wasn't interested. We just weren't interested in sailing a ship that wasn't fully functioning. So I just, I, I didn't want to do that. This was a trip of a lifetime for us. This was a dream for us. So, you know, I wanted it to be the best that it could possibly be. And we, part of that is the entertainment. So there you go. That's our explanation. So, you know, 50% was princess, 50% was the flights. So listen, the offer made by Princess was really generous. I feel terrible for the people on the inaugural and second and third sailings. I really do. Uh, I really hope Princess goes back and makes things right for them because this move over offer was incredibly generous. We have rebooked our sailing. It was an $8,000 sailing. It's a 10 day cruise still. We looked at the 14 days. We looked at the longer cruise. We can't be away from work that long. We were gonna be away for 16 days, but we really wanted to be able to fly in a couple of days early, have a day in Barcelona, and be able to stay three or four days after the cruise in Rome where we could explore Rome. We don't know if we will be able to get back to Europe. We want to, but it's very expensive. And for us, that's, it's, it's extremely expensive. So this may be a one time, once in a lifetime thing for us. So we wanted to maximize what we're doing. That's why the cruise, not having entertainment was so important to us. This, you know, we may not get to sail San Princess again, even when she's here in the US. So we needed to be able to maximize our time away and a 14 day cruise was too long for us to be able to maximize our time on land. So we went with another 10 day cruise. And let me just tell you, we were booked in a guarantee mini suite on the Sun Princess. Uh, the cabin number I'll put right up here. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but we ended up in just a, a mini suite, which we were ecstatic about. No special perks, it was just a mini suite. And it's not just a mini suite. It was a mini suite, not in the reserve collection, not the step up or anything like that. We are now booked on a new sailing of the Sun Princess in the fall of 2025. 
in a mini suite reserve collection. We're ecstatic about that. And we didn't have to pay for that. We had uh, Princess Plus booked on our original Sun Princess. We have it on the second sailing, all of the new sailing. All of our OBC has been moved over. Our casino uh, credit, which was $100 for the casino, is being moved over. The new cruise was around $8,000 some odd dollars. We didn't have to pay for that. And sitting in my account, on uh, up there is the $5,100 from my original Sun Princess sailing and onboard credit. So we are now able to not only book our excursions, I'm not sure about airfare, but we are going to look and see if we can book airfare with the onboard credit. <laughs> and anything we don't spend on board after our sailing goes home with us. So uh, to me, this was an unbelievable opportunity from Princess and I sincerely appreciate it. I just really hope that they go back to those first three sailings and make it right for those people. I really, really hope that they do. Okay, you guys, we still love Princess. You know we love Princess. All companies make mistakes. All companies do things that aggravate people that we don't find in our best interest. It happens. People make mistakes, companies make mistakes. It's how you pick up the pieces after that mistake that make the biggest difference for people. So like I said, hopefully they'll go back and correct that. So let me know what your thoughts are about Sun Princess, about everything. Please be respectful. It's fine if you don't agree with me. We can always agree to disagree. As long as we are respectful to one another, we can share our opinions. If you're hateful or negative or mean to somebody about your opinion that differs from them, you're not gonna convince them to come on over to your side of your opinion by being hateful and mean. That's not gonna get you anywhere. So you can always agree to disagree. We all have our own opinions. It's just the way it is. Up next, we are going to be on the Carnival Vista. We are very excited about that. We used our canceled flight credit to fly to Florida. We had to use that canceled flight credit by August of this year. <laughs> and we uh, have Galveston sailings. We are located here in Texas, our Galveston sailings. We don't require us to fly. We weren't going anywhere. So we're flying really fancy <laughs> to Florida. <laughs> so it's going to be lots of fun. Carnival Vista is our next sailing with friends. We are very excited about that, followed by the Carnival Jubilee and then Royal Caribbean's um, Harmony of the Sea in October. And then 2025, we are finally going to be on the Sun Princess. We have Celebrity booked. So we invite you to subscribe and join us on our fun cruises and here at home when we're not cruising. Thank you so much for joining me. I invite you to subscribe. It is free and we will see you around the ship.